Since we're seeing karaoke tonight, let's get some fried chicken. I want burgers and fries. So delicious. You guys need to eat healthier. It's, it's okay. okay. We're, we're still, still young. young. Many people mistakenly think that when they're young, they can do whatever they want to their bodies and in excessive amounts. Much of this includes pulling all-nighters and accruing sleep debt, eating a lot of junk food, consuming too much alcohol, and avoiding exercise. All of these activities are bad for your health and take a toll on your body. Being young doesn't spare your body from the damage inflicted by these activities. The development of disease takes time. By the time you've lost your health, you might not ever fully recover. Just like digging a well after you're thirsty or crafting weapons only when the war is about to begin, you'll be way too late. You should be cultivating healthy eating habits from young. Your immune system is your body's frontline defense and is key to your survival. If you neglect or abuse your immune system, it will be unable to defend against invaders, allowing enemies an easy victory. A tumor was discovered in Grandma Wong's lungs during a routine checkup. Today was her follow-up and she was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. What? So fast? Wasn't it just discovered? It was. She looked healthy and there weren't any symptoms. Oftentimes, we don't know that we're sick. We feel fine and assume we're healthy if our bodies don't show any signs of discomfort. But diseases don't happen overnight. Many diseases will develop within the body for some time before symptoms appear. For example, cancer. Often, when someone is diagnosed with early stage cancer, we assume that the cancer has just formed. Then, all of a sudden, the cancer is in its fourth and final stage. This results in the misconception that cancer is always a rapidly progressing disease. Didn't Grandma Wang get a health screening every year? Why didn't they detect it? Yes, they should have detected it earlier. Was the doctor not good enough? Cancer is actually a slow progressive disease. Even with our technology today, cancer may be undetectable by the patient and the doctor for the first two thirds of its natural history. Cancer cells start off small in numbers. One cell splits into two, two cells become four, four cells become eight, and so on. Generally, a patient doesn't become symptomatic until there are about 1 to 2 billion cancer cells in the body. That's usually when tumors can be detected. Take lung cancer, for example. From the moment the first cancer cell appears in the body until it can be detected, the lung cancer would have been developing for 10 to 20 years. So when we're able to first detect lung cancer in, for instance, a patient in his 40s, he may have had the cancer already since his 20s. For colorectal cancer, it also takes about 10 to 20 years before we can detect it. The development of breast cancer until discovery could take 6 to 8 years. So the term early stage cancer is somewhat of a misnomer because we can't detect cancer until several years later. By the time we can detect it, we may be already too late because the cancer cells have already multiplied to such large numbers that they have broken through the body's defense mechanisms and are too strong for the immune system to fight off. The only way to prevent cancer is for your immune system to eradicate the cancer cells when they are weak and small in numbers. You may never know that cancer cells once invaded your body. Mommy, I think I'm sick. I feel awful. No more junk food. We need to get you something healthy and nutritious so you can get better faster. No more candy? You can have some when you get better. Keeping yourself healthy is a 24-7, around-the-clock job. It's not simply eating more nutritious food or taking extra care when sick. Your immune system army needs nutritious food all the time. This means you need to continually eat a variety of different plant-based nutrients. An army that is fed one day and starved the next cannot fight well. It's the same with your immune system. A malnourished immune system leaves the body vulnerable to attack. Every day, your body has to fend off pollutants, harmful bacteria and viruses, and even cancer cells. 
Your body's immune system is an army that needs to be fed consistently with adequate nutrition. It always needs to be in tip-top shape to fight over enemies in a war. Cultivate healthy eating habits and stick to it. Properly caring for your immune system will build a strong foundation for your health. Nutritional Immunology advocates consuming a wide and colorful variety of wholesome plant foods to give your immune system the best nourishment. Take good care of your immune system and it will take good care of you. It's never too late to start.